Lenexa, Kansas. Hey, we're back here in uh, Lenexa, Kansas. Really haven't been here before. The beer guys are still checking out the breweries here in Kansas. And we came across this Limitless Brewing Company. It's really a community oriented brewery that uh, uh, it's a family owned atmosphere. And, and these guys, it's kind of funny because what they did was they spent a year touring all these other breweries all over the nation, all over the country, and they blogged about it. Maybe kind of like us. And out of all these experiences, they decided to start their own brewery here in Lenexa. So that's kind of cool because they're taking a lot of different recipes probably in a lot of different places and putting it together behind these doors. Let's go see what the Limitless Brewing Company here in Lenexa has to offer. Hi there. Okay, Limitless Brewing, Lenexa, Kansas. And let me tell you, walking in, I could tell they were brewing today because of the smells of their brewing process just engulfed the whole place. And so if you know what that smell is when you walk in and you smell that fresh beer brewing, that's exactly what we walked into here at Limitless Brewing. Look at the size of this place. Look at the light coming in. They got these doors that will open up. I mean, it is a nice, big brewery lots of places to sit they had some tvs going on they got a nice little bar area there they've definitely got some a little small area of merch for sale up there but this place looks really good and so i am definitely excited with all of the aromas going through here and the nice facility i'm really excited to try their beers you already know <laughs> if it's nice outside we're walking out to this patio and it's a big patio and look at the scenery just around and everything. I mean, I am really, really excited to check out Limitless Brewing here in Lenexa, Kansas. So we've got our flight lined up. We are ready to go. They did offer a flight and so we picked our four beers and we're ready to get into it. So here we go, Limitless Brewing, Lenexa. Let's go. Limitless Brewing, Lenexa, Kansas. So far, man, I'll tell you something. Well, this is a great vibe. You walk in there, and the minute you walk in, you know you're in a brewery. I mean, you can smell the beer. Oh, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> being made right here. And as uh, she goes, she goes, we're brewing today. Yeah. Oh, you can <laughs> tell, too, man. It is so cool. Uh, they got a nice selection of just about everything that you want. It's clean. It's got a great patio. Uh, they've got uh, merchandise for sale. And you know how we always are kind of price worthy. Okay, they got great looking t-shirts and guess how much? 20 bucks. I told you. That's the price. You got to have a 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This $30, $40 <laughs> bullshit is, you know, come on. I mean, we don't, no, really. You got it. And they're nice t-shirts too. Yeah. So they got swag. They got uh, a great presentation on this paddle. That yeah. You can see. Um, and we, we've got four choices here. Uh, we went, of course, with the Oktoberfest. They don't call it Oktoberfest. They call it the Mazan. Ma Mazan, Mazan, Mazan. yeah. Uh, but uh, they also have a West Coast IPA, which you know is my favorite. Uh, we always ask the bartender, what is what is the one that knocks everyone's socks off? What is the one that puts Limitless on, that bring people back? And she that's the Juicy IPA, which I, I'm not a fan of, but hey. She says this is what makes uh, Limitless famous. It's called so the Joko. It. Yeah, it's called the Joko. Mm -hmm. And is that, are we in Johnson County? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's the Joko. That's why they come here. And then uh, then we went with an interesting one. This black, black lager. lager. Don't know <laughs> nothing about that, but she's like, it's roasted with yeah. dark malty blend. And um, no, I'm, I'm excited about it. Well, everything so if their beer is as good as everything else about this place we're going to highly recommend it and i can't wait to get into it you know because it's a family-owned operation and supposedly all their beers is from a collaboration of every place else that they've been so i'll tell you oktoberfest it's the season and it's very it's comfortable season. out here so i'm hoping so that is a really really sweet uh, you could uh, taste the all the tones that make Oktoberfest so special. It's got an earthy, earthy feel, earthy tone. Uh, it's spicy. I mean, not 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 hot spicy, but it's got like mm. it's really good. 
That is a really mm. good Oktoberfest. There's all sorts of spices going yeah. on on that. Excellent. Not too much for pumpkin-y, but it is no, a... It's, it's, it's oh, a, that's a great Oktoberfest beer. And I bet you because it's a, it's a Mars... Oh, my. Oh, it's good. Definitely good. Oh, that's a good beer, you guys. Especially this time of year. Coming out here, I don't see a... I, I, they may bring lanterns out here later on in the fall. I don't see a fire pit, but oh um, yeah, lights and shit. I don't know, maybe. Oh, they got these side lights here going on, so yeah. maybe. Well, I'll tell you, the atmosphere is amazing. You got nice plants and yeah. All right, here we go. It's the West Coast IPA. Um, I we don't know what the IBUs or the I or the alcohol content we is, don't. but. Um, That's really good. Really? Oh my gosh. All the things a West Coast IPA it's, should be. It's everything and more. It's got that really piney citrusy, which the, which is what West Coast is all about. It's not fruity. It's got all of that 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 essence of what a West Coast IPA really is. And it's just it's not it's not too bitter. It, it doesn't have a bite. It's smooth. Mm. It's a. It's. I gotta take another taste. Mm, and this shit. Really... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get some to go. <laughs> I'm serious. That's, <laughs> that's the ultimate. That's so good. Oh my god. That is as good as IPA as I've ever had. You probably went. Well, it's probably. I, okay. So all of those I rate. Furious because yeah, I that is a very furious. That's taste. very furious. That's, 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 that is that is a pure West mm, Coast IPA. As, as that's as good as that's. It could be ooh. the best West Coast IPA I've had in Kansas City. <laughs> oh, definitely, it definitely is because that's apps without a doubt. I've not tasted anything that that good. Six packs. It's going home. All right. Joko, Johnson County. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see what you got to offer. This is what people come back for. Every one of their beers is so smooth. It's Man, velvety. So it's real. I mean, it's so. Tell me about that again. They went blogging. What? Yeah, they blogged for a year. They they traveled. They traveled around the the nation, uh, checking out craft brewer, be, beers, and then they blogged for a year. Really? Talk, yeah, talking about the different beers. So who knows? In a year, we refuse might have to be brewery. defined. Yeah, no shit, man. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. It's really good. This is. Again, I'm not a juicy. I'm not a juicy IPA lover, but this is mm, those after. Oh, I'll tell you something. It's like it's like because it's it's it's, like it's, a mimosa. Piney, it's it's everything. I mean, it's it, yeah. is, it is. I can see why people in Johnson County come. Oh back yeah, to this. I'm glad. I'm glad she said something about that. No, that's that's really good. Shit, yeah, man. Could we be saving? The best for last, which is hard to beat because right now we got three for three. It's a dark lager. I mean, I'm gonna let you go it's first. It's a black on that lager, one. yeah. That um, because he's a he's an amber lager guy. So this is the step even darker. Yeah, yeah. He loves amber. He's like a Yingling or a Grain Belt uh, uh, Northeast. Hmm. It's got to be chocolatey, right? It is a chocolatey coffee. Um, not, not super carbonated. Uh, I don't, somebody said that they should, I mean, I'm not like a super fan of that. Somebody said sure. we should be bringing our own glass and pouring it in. Don't you think that's stupid? I mean, eh, would you like to, I mean, now, I mean, it's like, I'm okay. Oh, oh my gosh. That's the third one, y'all. <laughs> It's <laughs> good. You like that one? That is really good. It's different, right? I mean, it's it, it, what's it, that? I I can't even I can't even mm -hmm. tell you I I can't even tell you because um, it's the dark malt that's giving yeah. that yeah totally totally that cookie that cook taste guys snacks guys looks like, looks like they've got guy snacks over hey, here which man, is you know, guys, made Kansas City famous yeah <laughs> this is really this is really good too so we're four for four four for four here so um. Yeah, this this place is definitely. If you follow our our podcasts, we we really 
we, we, we talk about what it, what it what it tastes like. I mean, yeah, the atmosphere. The, the I mean, we're we're not connoisseurs. We can't tell you about all the oh the all the texture. I mean, it's just do we like it or don't we like yeah. it? Yeah, and man. You, these are all really good you've seen us rip some before but i mean and we tell it like it is i i don't i don't know if i could go in there and get two more of their beers like we did at some of the other breweries and say they're knocking them all out of the park but it's brewing today we can smell it their background says that they know a lot about uh about brewing beer yeah they put time into yeah. and doing research and it's a family and type atmosphere it's so clean it's so it's it's really a great place it's located just off Highway 35, Interstate 35, in um, in uh, in Lenexa, Kansas. Yeah. So hey. put it on your list. Yeah. It is one of the best in the whole Kansas City metro yep. area. Highly recommend it. Limitless. Absolutely. Yep. Do it.